The largest battery manufacturer in the world is planning on building a battery factory in Europe to primarily supply one car manufacturer. And I guess you can probably make a pretty good guess on who that is. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans. I'm coming to you here from Newcastle in Australia. It's in New South Wales. It's a really, really beautiful place in Australia. If you get to come here one day, you should check out Newcastle. Now, one of my favorite places is called the Bogey Hole. It's a swim hole right on the ocean where the waves smash against the side of it and you can swim in a little hole and it's just an amazing place. So check it out one day. Now, I just want to say a big shout out to those of you who have jumped on board our Patreon channel and supported the channel. It means a huge amount to us and I really appreciate your support. If you want to become a Patreon supporter, I'll put a link in the description below. Now, CNF Post has just reported that CATL, the world's largest battery manufacturer, by the way, they primarily manufacture lithium iron phosphate batteries, which Elon Musk incidentally recently sent are the battery chemistry of the future, are going to build a $2.5 billion factory in Poland for, well, one primary reason. Now, I just reported within the last 24 hours that CATL is building a factory in Shanghai in the same exact location within a few kilometers of Tesla's Gigafactory. Primary reason, once again, is to supply Tesla with lithium iron phosphate batteries, which are the cheapest form of batteries. And also, by the way, they last longer than other battery chemistries, a lot longer. You can charge them to 100%. You can discharge the battery to zero percent and it barely affects the battery a good idea here of just how good these batteries are byd offers a 500,000 kilometer battery battery warranty and they say that if the batteries drop below 60 percent of original capacity after 500,000 kilometers that they will replace the battery now that's insane now apparently this battery factory will be built more than likely in poland why are they going to build it in poland well obviously comes down to costs. Land is cheaper, manufacturing, labor is cheaper, everything is more, more expensive in Germany. But the interesting thing is, the company has admitted openly, they plan on shipping those batteries to Germany. Why are they shipping the batteries to Germany? Well, guess who's building a car factory in Germany, which apparently actually has vehicles coming off the line already? Tesla. Now, when asked about the factory, CATL's sources said they would not comment but they confirmed that the primary source reason for this battery factory was to supply Tesla with batteries in Europe. If you didn't already know, CATL is the largest battery manufacturer in the world. They actually deployed 11 and a half gigawatt hours of batteries in China alone, and they have 55% market share. Now that's according to the latest data released earlier this month by the China Automotive Battery Innovation Alliance. Now in other news, Neo raised some eyebrows recently when they posted an ad on LinkedIn for an EU plant operation manager, and that was in Poland. Now, the wording of that job made it look as though Neo would be setting up a plant in Poland to meet its future capacity needs for expansion into Europe. Now, Poland is a fairly low cost labor center, and the local government in Poland, where this factory is apparently going to be built, seems to be very supportive of electric vehicles and of the automotive industry. This news is yet another reason of why my stock portfolio is very heavy on Tesla stock, even though many people, including Elon Musk, say that the stock price is very high. Many say it's overpriced. Many say it's a bubble. But if you watch this channel and you pay attention to what I've been talking about, the news, the facts, what Tesla is planning to do and what their partners are planning to do, then maybe it isn't so overvalued after all. Let me know what you think though. Do you think Tesla's overvalued? Do you think this partnership with CHL is a good move? Thanks for watching. I'll see you again on the next one. Bye-bye.